What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, every now and then uh, we have a lot of you subscribers sending stuff in to me, um, and sometimes I don't get to it right away. Now, uh, Kenneth or Ken Lair has sent me something way back. I think it was back in September of last year, right? Um, and the problem with it is, is that I don't have a problem with doing these things. It's just because there's so many people sending stuff to my regular email as well as my Facebook. Now, keep in mind, I do work. I have a regular job. And then, of course, I got this. It's hard to keep up with a lot of it. Now, it, it doesn't mean I won't get to it. It's just it makes it hard to get to it. So I told Ken, in fact, yesterday, I said, uh, guess what the next video is going to be about. Uh, I said, I'll give you three guesses. So uh, about high time we do his. He's gotten probably about 10 small items he's found in this Gigapan. And you guys are all familiar with this Gigapan because it's uh, Sol 1450. And I'm going to show you that. And this thing was crazy because I did a video on this. And I will leave a link in the uh, in my pinned comment uh, in the comment section so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it. Because I'm going to just show you a couple little tiny recaps, what I've seen, at least the biggest things we saw in that uh, uh, Gigapan. And then you guys can check it out if you want, right? All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. I've also had a bad cold, guys. After I did that last video, uh, beginning of the week, oh, my God, it's just been crazy how this... Uh, this thing crept up on me. I've been trying to keep it at bay. So that was always a lot of fun, too. Anyway, so we've got this uh, 1450, Sol 1450. And, of course, the, this pan is by Neville Thompson. Always a big thank you to him for doing this. Um, these are these are cool. Now, anybody who's remembered this one, and I know you guys did, because when I put this video out with this Sol uh, and this Giga pan, oh, my God, everybody's like, oh, yeah. And you guys were really cool about it. It's like you'd show a timestamp. And what you found, so other people can find it as well. So kudos to you guys for doing that, right? And kudos to you, Ken, for uh, taking the time to do this. I'm going to show the people what I mean by it, because not only did you show the pieces that you found, the anomalies you found, but you actually put it on a location on this particular butte or this mountain, right? They'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, guys, if you remember, it looked like some kind of weird, like I said, statue of an owl type thing. And it was much more in this area. And I showed you guys that, like this here. Um, I didn't say nothing about this. And like I said, it looks like some kind of weird torpedo type thing with looks like the fins to it right there. Of course, that, we don't know what that is, right? And none of this, guys, <laughs> I've said it a million times. We can all be nothing but speculative about all this because we don't and we cannot confirm what these things are, right? So that's the best you can do. I find it interesting, too, if you look at this right here. This is like supposed to be a mountain, nothing but chaos and uh, just stuff st strewn around, right? But look at this. Right underneath this rock, this so-called rock, which I don't believe they're rocks, but right there is this perfect straight line. Looks like a panel of some sort, some kind of rectangular panel underneath all this rock laying right there. And it looks like another section of it, and you can't really see much of it there at all. But um, that there, that area, and plus way here at the end, you guys will recognize this as well. This piece, which I call it machine parts, and I still stand by that, because of the actual way this thing is designed. You can see this it looks like almost like a round circle, but almost looks square, too. Maybe it's because of the resolution gives it that weird look, but um, actually it's not. I just looked at it now. It's You can see it's square, but this piece is coming out of that square going down. And you can see the two lines. One here, one here. thing has this, like, nice round radius to it. Comes down like this. And guess what? has the same thing on the bottom. Or well, whatever this thing is. We're going to call it bottom because that's the way it's laying in, this, in the sand, right? So... You've got pieces that are identical, and yet it's supposed to be a rock. No way, no how, right? Okay. I also showed you this at the top. Looked like this structure with an opening, and some it almost looked like a weird statue or animal sitting right inside that. See that? Right smack dab in the middle of the screen, right there. They've got the dock opening. It looks like something standing in it, and what looks like this weird structure type thing. I'll put the whole thing right in the center. And we also had something right here in the back, this, this docker pot behind it, right there. Got this flat top, angles down, almost like this pyramidal type uh, shape to it. See that? See that right there? Pretty cool. Now, let's get to his, because this is pretty cool. Well, there's one other thing right here. What is that? Look at that right there in the middle of the screen. Petrified wood or something like that, or just pot of concrete. Hard to tell what it is, right? So anyway, let's jump out of that. And like I said, let's go ahead and... Bring this stuff up. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you, Ken, for doing what you did here. 
He says, while searching a gigapan of Sol 1450 by Neville Thompson before you did a video on it, I have found. So he actually beat us to it, guys. He's found some crazy stuff in there. So, again, kudos. Because I love the idea that you guys are checking his stuff out and pulling these photos apart yourself. Now, what I do is I stuck them all in a folder right here. And you can see right there, pick 1 through 10. But you also have 11 and 12. What's 11 and what's 12? Well, when you click on him, he's actually done the work, basically. And he put, like, number 1s over here. Right there in the middle of the screen. Well, almost right there in the middle of the screen. Uh, right here. You got eight. And so he's actually put the ear, these these parts where you can find it in the photo. Two is up here. I think that's nine. I think that's three. I'm not sure because we do have a five in the other one. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So he's got that one there. Man, you got this one here. And it's also marked. You got four, ten, and five right there. Might be just the way, sometimes the way the threes almost look like a weird five. But, um, guys, even look at this right here, right in the middle of the screen. What is that? It looks like some kind of weird machinery sitting right in the middle of that. What do you guys think of that? All right, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing he says, a torn a, uh, a torn open craft that you can actually see inside with a gold, uh, golden, I'm sorry, with a golden goddess warrior head on top. Maybe a robot mascot or decorative hood ornament. But anyway, so check this thing out. Now, I kind of disagree on being a craft, and the only reason why I say that is because we, if we would go to the area that it's in, you can have a look at this thing and check this out. You can see it's not very far up there. I give this thing maybe two, maybe three feet um, in in diameter or in size. I don't think it's very big. However, that doesn't take away the idea that it's a, it's an anomaly um, at all. I think it looks like something that's been rusted apart. Um, whatever it was. It was completely rusted apart. Now, he is saying you can actually see inside this. See that? And you can see what looks like something they've really taken out of here right here. You can see like a white corner or something right there. But check that out. It's literally standing up, the square piece, and it has like a shadow to it. But whatever this thing is, look at the jagged parts on it. It's almost like it's been shredded apart and it started to rot apart or it's been blown to pieces. Maybe this is part of something that was blown to pieces, right? Who knows? But that's his first one right there, guys. That one's pretty cool. Now, the second one, a large pipe or uh, tube in the cliff face. Now, this one's a little hard to see, but it is right there, smack dab in the screen. See this right here, the very top of it? It looks dark right there and coming straight down. Right there. Right smack dab in the middle. What do you guys think of that? And I see all the interesting things on here. Like, again, they dress these things up to look like rocks. But when it's what I find funny is you see this, okay, it's a rock. But then you see what looks like this weird loop at the end of it, like this round piece. And it looks like a little lighter, like it should be a hole there. See this right here? Right there. Coming around. And you get this other piece over here. See this? Right there. But it does almost have that weird, like they try to blur over this thing, but it looks like you have this, like the top of the pipe opening here and it drops down. And it looked like they really, really tried to blur that out. Check that out. Look at the way they have just went like this over this thing to try to really blur that thing out. Third one is structure or craft with windows in the cliff face. Now, what I see in this here is just weird, like a like a steel type thing. It is way this almost like jagged type thing. And you can see like these little squares here at the top. Not so sure to make it that one because that one's kind of it's kind of vague in a sense. And I'm trying to make it out too, but you can <laughs> look at this right there, at the very right hand corner. You get what looks like this oval opening. It looks like something's coming out of it, but then it's completely blurred. Uh, you know, again, look at these colored squares. This is what people don't understand. If if you're trying to, anybody who's done this knows what I'm talking about. Take a photo and try to burn over it. What happens is the thing will actually turn different colors. I've seen black and white, quote unquote, black and white photos. When you start to try to burn through it, what, what does it do? Start turning green or dark orange or some kind of weird color. You're going, what the hell? It's a black and white photo. But it's not. Check out the actual photo, the details of it, and it actually says uh, RGB. That's right, folks. Uh, red, green, and blue. It's not a black and white. It just looks that way. Or they're giving you a, just a black and white photo, but it is actually in color. Um, now, some of them are already in color, but they're so... It's like they take the saturation out, so you really can't see that it's really color per se, right? So, number four, large cylinder. This was cool. Now, you can see this right here at the very end. It's rounded, and it goes down to the back. See that? And you can see something coming out of it right there at the very end of that. See that? 
right there at the end, almost like an L-shaped piece sticking out of the back end of that thing, but it's round right here in the center, and it has some weird, looks like a cylindrical object. And you can find this one pretty easy, guys, because you can jump in here, go over to the side here, I'll show you exactly where to find that, and it's right there, right there in the picture. See that? All right, and you can find it, it's right here at the end of the photo, where that other mechanical piece is right there. Like I said, the guys, this is highly symmetrical. There's no way you can say this is a regular rock. Look, it happens to be the same length to tip to tip from the top and bottom. has that same shape and everything going like this. It's too symmetrical to be natural. It's as simple as that. People want to think it's uh, natural? By all means, go for it. Now, that was a large cylinder. Number five, the manufactured notch pipe with uh, evenly spaced pegs on the side. This one's actually pretty cool, too. Um, check this thing out. And he's right. Look at the way this thing is jagged out. See this right here? Comes up, goes over, and then go to the right-hand side. You got these pieces coming out. Like they, like he said, evenly spaced apart. Check that out. What do you think of that? That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. And the chance of that happening naturally, guys, come on. And there's something else right here. You can see what they... Look at the shadow, the way this thing is. Or the outline, I should say. The line of this. Look at this. Comes up and around. See that right in the middle of the screen? Pretty much. Right there. You can see my cursor goes up and over. You can see the dark line goes up and over. And look at the little intricate pieces. Something round with a dark hole right there in the middle. See that? Pretty cool. All right. You got number six, a square box under a rock and strange piece or remains on left side. Now, that one's pretty cool because you can find it right here. And I'm going to show you real, real quick. You can find this on this side, right down here, right here. Very, very left side. Looks like something square. Pretty darn close to it under this so-called rock. Come on, guys. Look at the way these rocks are. Look at the look at the details. Don't let the rock color and the idea of them trying to make it look like a rock actually fool you because it's not. And you can see these. Look at the way the details of this right here is. See this? Right here. Going up. Look at that. Got these pieces sticking straight out almost square at the top of this one. And you got almost something that looks almost pretty darn square underneath that. And you can find that all the way to the left of the page, right? Let me show you that. Now, he's got it right there. Yeah. But check that out. Pretty cool. Strange shaped mechanical item number seven. Now, I find this was interesting because you've got this weird shape here. Almost like an oval type thing standing up. Right there, darkened area. And you got this other piece that's round with a small dot in the middle. See that? But guys, look at the other little intricate details. Like, again, they've been blurred out, made to look like some kind of rock, overlaid on top. You got something right here. It's actually casting a shadow right there at the bottom of it. Right there. Looks like it's coming up and then sticking right out of this thing. And you can see a little shadow underneath it. Yeah. Guys, twisted metal. Twisted metal fragments of a civilization that was once there. Right here, it said number nine was a creature with a question mark. Oops. Oh, go back to eight because we did jump over that. Right there, that's weird. Look at this. Look at this thing coming right down next to the arrow. Right there. Looks like this long piece with little sections. One, two, three, four, five, six sections. Right there. You got this right here, this rounded piece right here with a dark center, like a right there, smack dab in the center. Almost looks like it's got a line going. From top to bottom of that round piece, too. See that? And it's got these weird little designs. If you look at that thing carefully, tilt your head to the right, and just have a look at that thing. That is kind of weird, man. Now, did we jump over eight here? Yeah, you just didn't put the eight in there. That's how I jumped over it. You can see right here, you can see the forehead right here. It's almost like this thing's looking up, but like kind of looking at you at the same time. Uh, you can see it's looking up. Here's the nose right here. Got the eye, and the eye socket would be on the other side of this nose. And of course, it looks like it's got a mouth here. And touch your head a little to the left. It kind of has that weird look to it. Let me zoom right into that. Right there. All right. Uh, number 10. Now, this was weird because it was something similar to what I found before. Almost looked like a rebar, right? Where it had multiple things going off and going down. They were kind of rounded tube type things going up and then straight down. Well, not straight down, but kind of had a curvature to them. And this is no different. It has like these one piece, two piece. Looks like it branches off. Kind of weird thing right there, right? 
What do you guys think of that? Yeah, I don't see that as natural. I mean, it looks like something that's been broken apart. Now, we don't know what the heck it could be, but it does look like it's been busted apart. Uh, and it's just right there in the sand. Now, I believe a lot of this has been, you know, um, filtered out and censored. Um, and I just looked at another moon one the other day. And my God, this stuff is like, you can see like there's a rock there and complete blur all the way to hell around it after that. So they're only allowing you to see what they want you to see. So that's pretty much it, guys. And like I said, check this pan out for yourself. It's just wild, the stuff that's in here. That's all there is to it, just some of the stuff. Look at the way this, this rock is right here, right? Right there. It's half gray, but yet it still goes up over here. You can see it kind of has this rounded circular area to it. And look at that. The rest of it is the actual sand color. See that? Right there it's cut, and you can see it's gray. It almost looks like it's got a white circle piece there, too. Pretty interesting. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you, Kenneth uh, Lair, for your work. And uh, I appreciate you breaking it down the way you did. That's awesome. And guys, check this pan out. Again, you'll get the link. Take your time. Just peruse over this stuff. You will see some crazy stuff. Just take your time. Don't zoom in too much because you'll do this. And they'll go, oh, yeah, what is that? Oh, I see distortion. That's what I see. Just back out. Try not to get too close. Look at some of the weird lines and the way these, that's rocks. You can see this thing's actually stacked. See, it is a line. This bottom piece, top piece. Now, I'm not saying it is mechanical or anything, but it just makes you wonder, is that actually natural? Look at this piece right next to it. Right there. Got that nice curvature, straight across, straight across. Well, actually, it does on both. i just seen this. It's symmetrical. Check this out, guys. Straight across. Goes off to the right and back. See that? Goes back. And it does it over on this side. Look at this. Never seen this in the beginning. Right there. So we have a part that does this side. It's almost symmetrical. And check this out. It almost looks like it has something dangling from the back of it, too. See that square piece on the back? And it actually comes up through that. That is weird, man. That's pretty interesting. I mean, look, at it almost looks like a red brick laying right here on the ground. See this? Whatever that is. Oh, guys, there's so much in here to see, so you got to check it out. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Drop your comments and thoughts below. And a big thanks to Kenneth Lair for submitting these. Sorry it took a little bit of extra time, but, you know, like I said, it's there's a lot of people just, like, really show me some stuff here. And I'm trying to get to everybody's if I can. So, again, I'm glad that I was able to do this for you. This is awesome stuff here. Great eye, by the way. So, anyway, like I said, guys, comment, throw your thoughts below, like and share. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. Uh, got some more crazy stuff coming up for you. And we, just keep in mind, we will be on Friday tonight, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, as always, every Friday until further notice. Every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Just remember that, guys. Anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one.